what is your vision for the World Health Organization um, for your term? I think uh, the vision has been stated actually even in the 1940s when WHO was established. Uh, and just one phrase, it's health for all. And, you know, anyone to have access to health care, quality health care, wherever he is and whoever he is or she is. You have hinted of uh, reforms. What are these? Uh, I think uh, with the vision, uh, uh, there are five uh, priorities which um, I have identified. One is universal health coverage. The second is emergency uh, response uh, program. And then third is uh, focus on women, children, and adolescent. And number four is climate change and health. And then number five is transforming WHO to make these four uh, priorities happen. So these are the areas that we will focus our reform on, the priorities which I just said. There are, there's a widening gap between the haves and the, and the have-nots in terms of access to health. How do you intend to bridge this gap for, for health to be accessed by everyone in Africa? That's what we said. If we take universal health coverage and there is real political commitment to it, universal health coverage helps for all means addressing the inequity that we see. It's in order to address the inequity that we're saying universal health coverage is the agenda and we need political commitment at the highest level to make that happen. Uh, WHO is not just technical, it's also political, so we will uh, go into political mobilization.